Okay. Okay. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Before we begin our show this afternoon, let us begin with a prayer. Let us now put ourselves in the holy presence of God. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiriti Sancti. Amen. So our fellow HNI members and everyone, here now is the prayer for the protection for Hans Inclusion PH. God our Father, we implore you to us for the enlightenment and rescue, the repentant success of the organization Hands in Inclusion Filipinas. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including its former members. Rescue us from false sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the death. Keep us in putting God first whatever is the religion of their core team, including the founder, while being inclusive to all those who are in need of inclusion, especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQI+, people confused with their gender, ethnic groups, and poorest of the poor whom you also love. Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust grudge, conspiracy, and violence, which might affect the people they are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his core team to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines and impure and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe, and open the eyes to the truth of the pride that he holds. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord. Help us to realize that fear, envy, anger, and unforgiveness comes from Satan, and he may he stop whatever pride that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves a child of God. We also pray for those people who are blamed by hands inclusion Filipinas to repent from the sins they are guilty of without resorting or believing in any false in accusations made by either them or any enemy they encounter. Forgive us from our accusations in any form and from all the wrong timings. In your eyes, the organization did. This we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Alonso, pray for us. Saint Claire of Montefalco, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Our Lady, help of all Christians, intercede for us. Saint Monica, pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Augustine, pray for us and our family and our friends. Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Benedict, Pope Saint Pius the Tenth, and Pope Saint John Paul the Second, rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy and change the heart of everyone, all organizations, and all the people who formerly work with the organization who made terrible mistakes, and those the people who took part in a conspiracy to falsely accuse anyone and hands in inclusion. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us from our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Oh, my God. 
the, the worst infected upon it due to COVID-19. This is Ang mga pananaw at opinyon ng pag-uulat ng mag-uulat sa programang ito ay hindi ang pangunahing posisyon o hayag ng pamunuan ng organisasyong ito. The views and opinions expressed in this live report are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the management of this organization. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to an Inclusion Live Weekend. Today is Saturday, April 17, 2021. I'm your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi, and you're broadcasting simultaneously on the new Into Radio Facebook page and the Hands in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. We will begin our show with our daily verse for today from Psalm chapter 103, verse 8. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love. We will begin our topic proper in just a moment. We will be back after these commercials. Now this. Thank you. 
Okay, welcome back to One Inclusion Live Weekend. This evening, we will discuss about baptism in the Philippines. In the Philippines, Catholic christening involves a priest baptizing a baby in private or simultaneously with other children. In a mass christening, the priest goes from one child to another, blessing them with holy water and performing the baptismal rite as the parents and godparents respond in behalf of the children. It is customary to have several godfathers and godmothers, as parents believe that the more godparents a child has, the more assured he or she is of a good future. In the Roman Catholic Church, the person is sprinkled with water as the words, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, are said with the person doing the baptizing and sprinkling of water. Sponsors are charged 50 pesos. When the family of the baptized picks up the baptismal certificate a few days later, they are charged with additional 50 pesos. That means that the price is doubled. From 50, it's 100 pesos now. Many families have a party or reception at home or fancy restaurants. It is always a big occasion for Pinoy's. Before the celebration, the parents of the child must choose their respective godparents which are chosen to be the next parents who can guide the godchild from religious education. The short church mass is held which serves as the orientation for the family, god parents, and parents. Baptism ceremonies are important for family Catholics or rather Filipino Catholics because it is a step in welcoming the infants to becoming a Catholic. Baptism in the Philippines depends on the denomination. Born again Christians are totally immersed in water in the pool or at the beach. A child must be seven years old or above, old enough to understand what the baptismal means. Catholic Christianity is usually performed inside the church with the family and the sponsors of the baby stand nearby as a priest sprinkles water on the baby's forehead, and it's free. Baptism is the first sacrament where you become united with Christ in the church. No other sacrament can be received without it. A priest performs this rite by immersing the baptismal candidate into water, therefore cleansing their original sin through water and the word. The candidate traditionally wears white garments, a candle lit, and they are anointed with sacred chrism. This is the first step in your relationship with God and Christ. Usually, this takes place when the candidate is a baby. However, it is never too late and you're never too old to begin your journey with God. It's common to have a baptism celebration with friends and family afterwards and give the child baptism keepsakes that will help grow them grow in their faith. The verses from baptism from Matthew chapter 28, verse 19. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and, on, and the Son and the Holy Spirit. From Mark chapter 1, verse 9 to 11. And it came to pass in those days, that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized of John in Jordan. And straight away coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens open and the spirit like a dove descending upon him. And there came a voice from heaven saying, Thou art my, art my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved in thy house. And he took them the same hour of the night and washed their stripes, and was baptized he and all his straightway. From Acts chapter 16, verse 31 and 33. In the Catholic Church today, people are usually baptized as infants by the priest or deacon. They are extreme cases. However, when, it, when an unbaptized person can baptize someone, all that is required is the will to do what the church does when she baptizes and to apply the Trinitarian baptismal formula. The Trinitarian formula is, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and, the, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Baptizing someone twice is not necessary so long as the person was baptized in water using the Trinitarian formula described above. The only way someone could be baptized twice is if the original baptism was not valid. However, this would not actually be a second baptism because the first baptism was not a real baptism. 
one way of baptism could be invalid is if the person baptizing uses the formula like I baptize you in the name of the Creator, the Redeemer, and the Sanctifier. In very unusual cases, someone may be baptized without water. This would be an invalid baptism even if the Trinitary formula were used. In response to a water shortage, Pope Gregory the The, the ninth, actually, ancient decree saying it was not valid to baptize someone in beer. Children receive baptism primarily to, me, to remove sin, but can serve as a great family tradition to initiate one's child into the faith of the family. Infant, infant baptism has been debated for centuries. First, let us appeal to the Bible. According to John chapter 3, verse 5, it says, Jesus answered, Amen, Amen, I say to you. No one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and spirit. Note that Jesus says no one can enter heaven in that passage. In the spirit of brevity, is the short answer spring from the Catechism. Okay, from the practice of infant baptism is an immemorial tradition of the church. There is explicit testimony to this practice in the second century on. And it is quite possible that at the beginning of the apostolic preaching, when whole households receive baptism, Infants may also have been baptized. When it comes down to it, baptism is a gift from God to humanity. Baptism initiates us into the family of God and cleanses us of sin. We do not need to earn this gift. God gives it freely to all who are open to it. For someone who is baptized as an infant, the person responds of faith comes as the child grows to respond to the graces given in baptism. Baptism is connected to faith. And this connection is not lost when an infant is baptized. The apostolic tradition has, was written in the early 3rd century. It states, Baptize first the children. If they can speak for themselves, let them do so. Otherwise, let their parents or other relatives speak for them. Today, the church still recognizes the connection between faith and baptism. When a child is baptized, the parent's faith speaks for the child who is too young to have explicit faith on his or her own. This is why the church requires a reasonable hope that the parents will raise the child in the Catholic faith before a child is baptized. In summary, baptism is the first of seven sacraments and the way in which a person becomes a member of the Catholic Church. Here in the Philippines, the celebration of the baptism sacrament is absolutely necessary. Through a baptism, God gives us a gift. He confirms his promise to grant us a new and abundant life through his son, Jesus, and assures us of his steadfast love. Through baptism, we as a community welcome adults and children into our midst and promise to come alongside those being baptized to encourage them as they learn to answer Jesus' call to follow him. And that's the end of our topic proper. Let us now move on to the announcements part of the show. Okay. We have three products for sale at the Hands and Inclusion online shop. We have the Hands in Inclusion t-shirts. The white colored Hands in Inclusion t-shirts. The small size is 430 pesos, medium is 440 pesos, large is 450 pesos, extra large is 460 pesos. And if you want a text in the back, you need to pay an additional 50 pesos. For the Hands in Inclusion t-shirts, black, the small size is 450 pesos, medium is 460 pesos, Large is 470 pesos, extra large is 480 pesos, and an additional 50 pesos with tax at the back. Look at these guys. These are the beautifully and colorfully designed hands and inclusion tote bags. The small size is 220 pesos, medium is 240 pesos, large is 260 pesos, 
with additional 50 pesos with tax at the back. For the hands and inclusion stickers, we have it comes with the three variants. Uh, we include our yes, 250 pesos. Inibi ko ang mga Pinoy PWDs, 150 pesos. Hand inclusion, 150 pesos. But this one is out of stock. How can we pay? Well, we can pay through GCash and or PayMaya on this number flash in your screen. 0917-701-9684. Again, that's 0917-701-9684. It will deliver to you via Tok Tok, Lala Move, GoGo Express, Grab, Mr. Speedy Philippines, and LBC. Tok Tok, Lala Move, GoGo Express, Grab, Mr. Speedy Philippines, and LBC are available in areas under the NCR Plus bubble, NCR, Cavite, Rizal, Laguna, and Bulacan. The rest of the country, it will deliver to you via LBC. Do you want to donate for hands and inclusion? Well, we can donate for hands and inclusion regardless, no matter what. It doesn't really matter if the amount is smaller or larger. We will be appreciated if you donate for hands and inclusion. You, if you want to donate for hands and inclusion, you may do so via GCash or PayMaya on this number flashing your screen. 0917-701-9684. Again, that's 0917-701-9684. For those who did this, thank you for your continuous generosity and for your support to Hands and Inclusion. Okay. Hands in Inclusion is looking for the following volunteer researchers, captioners, and YouTube uploader. The qualifications are willing to work as a volunteer, has a laptop and desktop and a strong internet connection, has committed to work, good attitude and character, and college graduate. If you're interested for these, you can send your resume to handsin.inclusion at gmail.com. Again, that's handsin.inclusion at gmail.com. This May, Hands in Inclusion will have the Inclu Training Computer Basics. Updates regarding this will be um, will be done by the Hands in Inclusion Philippines Facebook page. So watch out for that. On May 1, 2021, 2 p.m. to 4 o'clock in the afternoon, Hansen Inclusion will have another webinar called Quentong Atismo. Our speakers are me, your Trudy, Cargas Kanahashi, Christian, Gerald Chan, and Kevin Suarez. This will be aired on May 1, 2021 from 2 o'clock in the afternoon to 4 o'clock in the afternoon on the Hansen Inclusion Philippines Facebook page. Updates regarding this will be given in the next couple of weeks until May 1. Okay. Hands in Inclusion Philippines joins the nation in the celebration of the 500 quincentennial commemorations in the Philippines, victory and humanity. This year, the Philippines is celebrating the 500th year anniversary of the Battle of Mactan and the birth of Christianity in the Philippines. On April 21, 2021 to April 27, 2021, we will be celebrating the 500, the activities related to the quincentennial commemorations in the Philippines. Now, this is a joint between the Hands and Inclusion and other organizations. The National Quincentennial Committee and the National Historical Commission of the Republic of the Philippines. On April 28, 2001, at 7 o'clock in the evening, Best Buddies Philippines, led by Michelle Aventajado, will, um, will conduct an open house activity entitled Tambayan, an introduction to Best Buddies Philippines and our programs. Best Buddies, parents, schools, and therapy centers. 
everyone should be included. And they will talk about how to further inclusion through friendship, leadership, and employment. If you want to register, you may go to this link for the registration. It bit.bly slash bbp open house. Okay. Uh, hey, do you want to follow Hands and Inclusion on social media? Well, we can follow Hands and Inclusion on social media. It will be appreciated if you follow us on the following social media pages. Facebook, Hands and Inclusion PH. Instagram and WordPress, Hands and Inclusion PH. Kumu, HNI Philippines. And subscribe to our official YouTube channel, Hands and Inclusion Filipinas. In addition, you may want to subscribe or follow the new Inclusion Facebook page, Inclu Sports, Inclu Gaming, Inclu Nihan, and the online shop on Facebook, and the Inclu Gaming YouTube channel. For those who did this, thank you for your support to Hands and Inclusion. This year, 2021, this is a, the big S day in the history of Hands and Inclusion as we celebrate the fourth anniversary this year with the theme, Bagong Tapang Sa One Inclusion Nation. This is a true taste of One Inclusion Nation. Hands and Inclusion is a community of volunteers that involves with that promotes proper inclusion of persons with disabilities in the Philippines. We share their stories to help EWDs become accepted in society as individuals and help them live as equals if not a functioning part of the community. Our goal is to be able to reach out the proper channels of the government and provide sec to, the, to the public and the private sectors to give aid and support to those who deserve this help. So, hands in inclusion is to promote, the purpose of this is to promote inclusion. How can we support them and accept this in our civilized society? We are the voice and the ears of our brothers and sisters who feel helpless with the right to the, equ to the equality and equity as well. Hansen Inclusion was founded on March 8, 2017 by Roylan Marlang, a self-advocate with autism and a Benilgen alumni from Pasay City. This initiative was started as Inclusion in Action. And then later, on June 2017, Inclusion in Action became known as Hands in Inclusion. And this is the name that we are using in its present day today. All the achievements that we have done for the past four years of its existence. First is the Inclusion Ako campaign. The second campaign is the 2018 logo in November. 2018 logo and the essence of this is to show love and unity as these are very important values in the filipino culture we also have the the redesigning of the current logo of hands and inclusion it was unveiled on march 8 2019 it was designed by my fellow benilian named mike ambion And also, we had our first commercial. Alam namin po yun. We also have um, the achievements that happened in 2019 are the relaunch of Hansen Inclusion in the Rotary Club of Makati event. We also have the receiving of the gifts from the Hansen Inclusion Management to Yorme Isco Moreno of Manila. The participation of Hansen Inclusion to the Bazaar in Benil in celebration of the 2019 Deaf Awareness Month. We also have the um, 
the inauguration of the soft opening of the online shop to the public on Facebook. And also last year, we had lots of events like the Makabago Otismo sa Ikadalawampun Kisa Siglo. We also have the Aiming Inclusion Stay at Home Concert. We also have the the four um, interviews in the inclusive report last June and July last year. We also have Inclunihan. We had uh, three songs last year, One Inclusion Nation, One Inclusion Forever, and the uh, Inig ng Mga Nawalan, Hands and Inclusion version. We also have the, um, the unveiling of the merchandises. We also had uh, partnerships with other people with Project Inclusion and Autism Strong Philippines. We also had the um, uh, other achievements that we have done for last year are that are related to Hanson Inclusion from 2019 and 2020 are the uh, Angels Talk for Autism 2019 in celebration of the, of the 30th anniversary of a famous PWD organization in Kamunin, Quezon City. We also have the Best Buddies We Kneeled From. We also have the we also have the um, the webinars of Ateneo Speed where in Royland was there. We also have uh, other events are the um, appearance of Dr. Francis De Malanta in the Bowel Judgmental segment of Eat Bulaga on GMA Network. We also have the wedding of Bell Baria and David Mitchell in South Carolina in America. And also, this year we had other events such as the, um, the autism testimonials, connecting with drop down syndrome, inclusion talks for women. We also have the webinar of Ateneo Speed, where in Rylan was there again. The Psychological Society of Assumption webinar, with, wherein Christian and Billy were there, and the appearance of Rylan Marlang in God is Able on DCAS. We also have the, uh, another webinar coming up soon, but the event that we will never forget is this. Nakaranas kami ng pansamantalang pagsasara noong June 6, 2020, Sabado, Hindi kami nawala ng pag-asa at biyaya. So the best gift for us for this fourth anniversary is this is the true taste of hands and inclusion and this is the true taste of one inclusion nation and a one inclusive Philippines. We would like also to appeal to the current members and former members of hands and inclusion to observe proper decorum so that we will not have any problems. Let us continue to have a good example. We shall learn how to show good attitude and show to be professional. We must uh, act like a neutral person, as what Bini said. Your cooperation and your attention is highly appreciated. We must learn how to be considerate. We must learn also how to understand others and to be self-controlled. And it should be systematic. Ito ay ginagawa para magiging mapayapa at maayos tayo ng matagal. At answer inclusion, we continue to put God first, truth first, people first, and of course, to promote our culture in our civilized society. Society. Regarding the anticipated return of hands and inclusion Philippines in the future, apart from your patience and understanding, we need your help and prayers, regardless of your faith, for the anticipated return of hands and inclusion Philippines in the future as a formal organization and expect a brand new start. Sa mga nakikipanood sa atin, bukod po sa ating pasensya pangunawa, Hiniling namin ang iyong tulong at panalangin sa anumang rehiliyon ninyo na sana bumalik ang hands and inclusion sa panghinaharap. 
at hinilingyo ito sa Panginoon. At sana magkaroon tayo ng bagong simula. Ngayong 2021, ito ang bagong tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. We give, we include our yes. H-N-I, God first. Okay. Coming up later on Magpayo Tayo Ka Inclusion, we will discuss about Respect the Game. And the question is, bilang isang Pilipino, paano mo gagalangin ang laro o sport na paborito mo? As a Filipino, how will you make your game, your favorite sport a success? We will find out this later on Magpayo Tayo Ka Inclusion later tonight at 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. With your host, me, yours truly, Carlos Kanahashi, Vincent Makuse, Christian Chan, and just in case, Roylan Marla. It will be broadcast live on Inclo Radio and the Hands in Inclusion Philippines Pumu app. It's now the time for our shoutouts and uh, greetings. Uh, Uh, to uh, TJ Alvia, uh, good evening po. Thank you for watching. Uh, good evening po, uh, TJ. Thank you for watching. Uh, so I would like to thank um, uh, uh, to my family. Uh, good evening. Thank you. Hi. To my uh, fellow Hands in Inclusion members. Roylan, Billy, Cedric, Christian, Asher, TJ, Formarejo, Tara Francisco, uh, Samantha Season, uh, Veronica, Gloria, Hendrik, Archie, we also have uh, Jade, Marian, uh, Roy Galfo, and the others. Uh, good evening din po. Hands in inclusion, and also Val Barry, I believe, in also. Uh, okay. And also, uh, I would also like to thank to God, the divine providence, the almighty God. We also, I would like also to thank Best Buddies Philippines, led by Michelle Aventajado and its members, uh, Cal Ebora and Alan Angelona. Angela Batalones, Ali Rojas, Jessica Malca, uh, and also the Best Buddies Benil chapter, Joey Laurito, Clarissa Gonzalez, Genevieve Gutierrez, Martin Romero, Brian Pabustan, Kiran Panega. I would like also to thank also Tamara P, uh, Craig Sandoval, Mary Rose Ake, Patricia Toralba, Sabrina Buenafe. We also have a lot and more. Also, Mara Guerrero, Nina Calderon, Bianca Montemayor, Bobby Anonas. Also, I would like to thank uh, Project Inclusion Network, Autism Strong Philippines, led by Joel Nava, and uh, And to all the members of Autism Strong Philippines, thank you. I would like also to thank the Association for Adults with Autism Philippines led by the founder, Dr. Lirio Sabrevinia Scove. I would also like to thank Autism Society Philippines uh, led by the current president, Mona Magnovilus. Also, uh, Down Syndrome Association of the Philippines. A Child's Dream Foundation Incorporated, led by 
uh, Dr. Francis Di Malanta. We also like to thank um, Angat, led by uh, Ma'am Carmen and Archie. And also to Ma'am Veronica, Ma'am Gloria, Sir Hendrix. Good evening din also to you. And Ma'am Chiki also. Good evening din also. And also, I would like to thank um, other PWD groups and organizations in the Philippines and throughout the world. And also, uh, to those who are celebrating uh, their birthdays today, our birthday celebrants are uh, Rene Francis Batalia, Vanna Absejo Sanje, Grand Paul Montoro and Nikki Yam. Happy birthday din sa mga apat na yan. Happy birthday and may you have the more birthdays to come. And also, happy anniversary to those who are celebrating their anniversary today. Happy anniversary. And also, to those who are watching, it may be a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening wherever you are in the world. Sana nasa mabuting kalagayan ninyo. If not, you may use this time to improve your mental health and your well-being as well. Don't forget that tomorrow is Sunday. As Hands in Inclusion continues to put God first and truth, God first, regardless of our faith, we urge you guys to attend religious services regardless of your faith. And because of this, your silence is highly appreciated. And also, it is also considered a oppressed. And your cooperation is highly appreciated. And also, I would like to well uh, also up to Joel Ferrer. Thank you for your time this afternoon for our short uh, web uh, Zoom activity this afternoon. Thank you. I would like to, to welcome Kuya Yo to Hands in Inclusion. And also, And also to um, to John Ignacio, Mighty Kabigting, Kuyari Richard Convoy, and Jean Ignacio. Good evening, din sa inyo. And also, and also to my fellow Benilians. We only have around uh, two to three weeks left to go before the second term ends. So to my fellow Benilians, uh, do your best, complete your requirements on time, and of course, consult with your professors as well. Okay. And uh, that was the time for the One Inclusion Live we Saturday for Saturday, April 17, 2021. I will be back again later at 8 p.m. for the Magpapayo Tayo Inclusion. And again tomorrow for the One Inclusion Live Weekend Sunday Edition and Editorial Sunday. And of course, the General Assembly of Hands and Inclusion. On behalf of King Clorajo and Hands in Inclusion Philippines, I'm your host, Carlos Miguel Kanashi, saying, May the Almighty God bless us all. We include our yes. Ngayong ikaap na anibersaryo, may bagong tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. Pagpalain na watayo na puong may kapal, One Inclusion Forever, HNI, God First. Thank you, good night, bye for now, and 
Good evening to all. Maraming salamat, magandang gabi, at paalam na po ngayon. Bye-bye!